Hey, it's Allison. Thank you so much for tuning in for another episode. And today I want to share with you my top three ways that I made manifesting work for me. I can't wait to share this with you. Stay tuned. Step one for making manifestation work for you. You need to become crystal clear on what it is that you want. And then my friends, you need to ask for it. It's as simple as that. Step one is super simple, but I know for a lot of people, it can actually be a little bit of a holdup because you're like, what? I can ask for anything I want? I'm not sure what I want. I know what I don't want, but okay, so here's the thing. You need to become crystal clear on what it is you do want, okay? So nothing is too big, nothing is too grandiose, Anything, my friend, that you want that's in your heart, I want you to become crystal, crystal clear, and I want you to ask for it. That is step one. And don't make this all weird and get all like in your head about it. Like just, what's the first thing that comes to your mind about something that you want, right? And just ask for it. Now when I say ask for it, I don't mean like this whole like, light the sage and light the candles and have like a prayer circle. No, you just need to close your eyes and kind of set the intention in your heart to say, this is something I really would like. And then that's it. You have then, poof, you have officially asked for it. It's really that simple. All right, so step two is I want you to believe without a shadow of a doubt. So 100% believe in your heart of hearts that what you just asked for is 100% without a doubt coming your way. Now this is the fun part because what you can do is that not only can you believe it in your heart, but you can feel it. You can get excited about it. You can celebrate it. You can talk about it. You can act as if this has 100% already landed in your lap, which is so exciting, right? That's the fun part, like getting excited. And that's actually one of the secrets to effective manifesting is feeling it. So whatever feelings you would have surrounding, so okay, let's say you wanna manifest a new car, okay? So in step one, you, you um, outlined exactly what kind of car it is that you want, right? So now in step two, you're gonna believe, yes, this car is coming my way. I can't wait to get in the car, to sit in the car, to ride in the car. How will I feel being in the car, driving the car? Where am I gonna take it to? Who's gonna be in the back seat? You know, start feeling and just talking about it and getting really excited about that car. That's one of the secrets to making all of this work, the feeling. You have to feel all of the feelings, all of the good feelings about the car. All right, so the third and final step to manifesting and how do I made it work for me is that I let it go. I surrendered, I surrendered it, I let it go. I knew that it was coming for me. I knew that I trusted it and believed and just felt it in my gut. Like I just knew it was happening with such feeling that it didn't matter to me um, how it came or when it came, because I knew it was coming. Like it doesn't matter, I knew it was coming. Um, and so I just surrendered it and I just let it go. You just let it go. This can be a difficult step um, for a lot of people because we, we want to know the how. We want to like, if we're, if we're trying to manifest this car, we want to know how this car is going to come into our lives. But remember my friends, the how is not up to us. It just isn't. It doesn't really matter. We aren't, our little minds aren't even able to really like come up with the way that the how would even happen. It's all so much bigger than us anyway. So it's not up to us. We have to surrender and let it go. One of my favorite um, little tips about this that I learned is actually from the word amen. Do you know what the definition of amen is? It actually means it is done. So you need to, just like in a prayer, like when you're asking God or the universe or spiritual guidance or whoever it is you pray to, when you're done with that prayer and you say amen, you have essentially let it go because it is done, it's done. It's no longer on your heart, it's now out into the ether and it's not up to you anymore. You just have to trust and know that it is coming your way. And I love that. It makes it feel less stressful because even I still get caught up in the how. It's so easy to get caught up in wanting to know when it's gonna come. But the surrender is such a beautiful process to manifesting. And if you cheat that out of you, or if you cheat that experience, like you don't let yourself really just surrender and let go, you're missing out on such a beautiful part of the process. 
And once the timing is right and once everything is lined up and ready to happen, you will receive what it is you asked for. It's an amazing process. Thank you so much for letting me share this with you and for letting me share with you my top three ways to make manifesting work, how I make it work for me. I'm so glad you were here. If you like this video, please give me a like or share with me how you've made manifesting work for you and what is the most recent thing you've manifested into your life. I would love to hear it. Thank you again. I appreciate you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.